Hello, welcome back to Loyatines channel. Today we are talking about 10 things that I wish I knew before I chose to read law in Ghana. So yes, I am Loya Tina. I, I attended the University of Ghana for my law degree. It was right from senior high school. So I entered with my WASI certificate. So it means that I did four years in Legon. And in, I started in 2013. So in 2017, I was done with my, my school of law in Legon. And I applied to the Ghana School of Law, the Makola. In 2017, I wrote the entrance exams, but I failed. I didn't pass. And so I had to go and do my national service and reapply for the entrance exams in 2018. Now in 2018, thankfully, glory be to God, I passed the entrance exams to the Makola, went to the Ghana School of Law from 2018 to December 2020. I, I passed the bar exams and I was called to the Ghana bar. And so I've been a lawyer for the past three years now. So this is my experience and some experiences from my friends that I'm going to share with you. There are 10 things I wish I knew before I pursued law in Ghana or I chose to read law in Ghana. Now remember that all these experiences I'm going to talk about are not things which would have changed my decision to read law in any way. I would have still pursued law even if I knew these things. But then I just want you to be aware of them so that you would you would guide yourself. It's better to know so that you know how to go about things before you make some mistakes that I made or my friends made. So hey, let's just go straight to the point. Number one is that it does not matter the background that you have. You can still pursue law and do it very well. In Ghana, we have courses that you read in senior high school. So business, home accounts, visual arts, science. It doesn't matter at all. Some of us have misconceptions that you have to be a general arts student to be able to read law or even excel in law. It does not matter. You can do either of these courses, pass and pass very well, and make it and become a lawyer in Ghana. And you can still do great. I was a business student with accounting, e-maths, accounts, and here am I. I did the law and thanks be to God, I did it very well. I'm proud of what I did with my law and I'm proud of what I'm doing right now. So you can still do it. The same way if you have a degree, whether your degree is in architecture, it is in um, engineering, it is in nursing, whatever profession, you can still come and read law in any university in Ghana. So that's number one. Number two is that don't count the years. Don't count the number of years that you use to uh, complete your law. So sometimes when you enter the law school, you are just, oh, so within six years, I'll be done. Oh, within five years, I'll be done. I wish everybody the best and I hope that you'd pass your exam without any stress. But these are some of the things that can happen to any student at all. It doesn't matter how good you are, how excellent you are. And I've seen it happen to myself, my friends who are even far brighter and more intelligent than some people I know, but then this can happen to you. Now, when you pass with your degree in any of the universities, you have to apply for an entrance exam to Makola or the Ghana School of Law. It's, it's very competitive. It's very competitive because there are a number of people applying. Sometimes within a year, there can be about 3,000 people applying and the school can only take maybe 500 people. And um, there are times that it used to take about 200, 250. Now it has shot up a little. So 500, 450, 600, maybe a thousand, a maximum maybe a thousand. So if you are picking this number of people, at first we used to believe that, oh, the, the pass mark is 50. At a point it was difficult. I mean, within last year and last two years, there are some people who got 50, but they were not picked and they had to pursue and fight for, for the school to recognize them and actually give them admission when they had 50. So the years are fluctuating. Sometimes people can write law entrance exams for two times, three times, and it is written every year. So it means that if you write it this year and you don't make it, you have to write it again next year, you have to write it again next two years. So I have heard of people who are overall best students in their faculties who did not make it to the law school. First class students who did not make it to the law school. I mean, 
you would <laughs> you would think we are joking about it. But let, let's think about law school in Ghana. There are challenges, there are genuine challenges. The authorities are trying to address some of them. But my dear, it is not only about how smart you are, how intelligent or how confident you are. Some things will humble you. Some people choose to go outside of the country and become lawyers outside of the country, maybe Gambia, UK, or any law, any common law country, and then later they come back to uh, Makola. So the number of years can, can be fluctuating. Now, there are people who are also in the law school. If you fail more than two papers, two courses in the first year, you have to repeat all of the courses again. Yes. So there are people who have been there since 2017, 2018, because then you fail and you have to repeat all of it again. I don't know if you get it. So, so you don't say, oh, I am going to do it in two years and six years. And I'm not saying don't be positive, be very positive, but be willing to accept whatever comes your way. If you don't pass, no matter how well you try. And you may feel some papers that you don't want to feel. You may be, you need resilience to be able to go through the law school peacefully. I've seen people who have done it in 10 years, in six years, in seven years. I pray that is not your portion. But if that ever becomes your portion, hey, be resilient. Be resilient. You will need that. And you will need that in your law career and everything. So number three, if you are an editor student, remember that you are going to be in class with mature students. It's most likely you are going to be in class with mature students. So I was in Legon um, for four years. We were in class with people who were degree holders already and they were now coming to pursue law. Some of them were policemen, SMPs. They just joined us for some courses. And remember that as an 18-year-old girl, if you are in class with someone who is about 40, who has actually dealt with a lot of things before and more mature and know what they want, you may look like you actually don't know what you are doing or what you are about. But so you have to get ready that those people are mature. It doesn't mean that you are not cut out for the course. You just prepare that immediately you take, you take up the course and you pursue it with all your heart. You can also do it with the resilience that you need, with the determination that you need. Those adults, those mature students, they are actually prepared for the course. They know why they came for it. They have prepared their mind and so they are very ready. As an 18-year-old student who has just entered university, you may be confused at a point. You may be worried if you actually want to do the law or not. But that should not confuse you. Whatever you are doing or whatever you find your hands to do, my policy is that, hey, you do it so well, you'll be proud of yourself later. Even if you want to drop out later, Hey, start by doing it well. Start by focusing on it. Start by paying some attention to it. Later, if you don't want to do it, you go boldly and say, yeah, I did so well, but I don't want to do it again and I'm moving out. But you don't say, um, I'm just doing it anyhow. And no, don't do that. You owe yourself that. So please be ready. Then some people who may have played with the law before, maybe they are policemen, they know bits and bits of the law. It doesn't mean that you cannot do this on your own. You can do it without being a mature student. Now, my fourth thing that you need to know is that um, law is a very jealous course. It needs more attention. Extra, extra attention. You not get to chill like how other people chill in the university. You have to devote a lot of time to the law. So much time. There are extracurricular activities that you may be engaged in, but mostly um it will be limited as compared to your friends you need to know that you are there to pursue a profession and focus on it if you don't do this and you don't put much time in this it's going to affect you in your career in years to come so the earlier you commit to it the earlier you pay more attention to the course and do what you have to do to pass the better it is for you and remember, it's not just about passing. It's about making some commitments. That, hey, I'm here to read the law. The law is a lifetime thing. Whatever you are reading now is going to affect you the next year. So, or in the next four years or in your career. So you don't joke with it. So, hey, take note of that. Then take note that you would read and read and read. Law is reading. You have no idea how much or how many times you have to read. Reading is 
endless in law. Um, don't take it for granted. Don't say I'm going to rely on my friends and what they have read. It is going to affect you in your career if you don't do the reading now. And I'm serious about this. The cases that they, you are asked to read, please read them. The books, the chapters that you are asked to read, please read them. It is what is going to form you for a better career in the years to come. So these are your formation years. These are the foundation, especially for your period at the university. Those are the days that you have to form yourself. You have to be grounded in the law. So if you say, oh, I'm reading this case, I'm reading briefs, I'm going to leave this out and that out, my sister, my brother, you will regret it later, unless you don't want to practice this law. But you may never know. Immediately you graduate as a lawyer, everybody perceives that you have the wisdom as a lawyer, you are wise as a lawyer, and that you have all the information and knowledge as a lawyer. And so immediately you step out and you did not read the law as, as detailed as you're supposed to do, you become like half-baked. And so you are not really conversant with the law. Please read the cases, read the course materials, make your notes, and make sure you know, you understand what you are reading. Even when you don't understand, you read. It will start making sense very soon. It is very difficult at the beginning. It gets better with time. And you may not believe it, but my first year, my first semester, I didn't want to go through with law school. I was like, no, I can't do this. This is too much for me. I'm not the only one. There are a number of people that have opened up to me that the first year I actually didn't want to continue because I was like, what are we doing? What is this? It is very difficult. It's a profession. So when you're starting, you need a foundation, you need the skills, and you may look like a fish who has just been thrown out of water. So you may be finding it difficult to move and where am I going? What am I reading? But immediately you pick the foundation well, that is it. It gets better with time. It's just like um, building. Maybe if you know how to set up the foundation, when you're putting on the next block, maybe easier than when you started laying the blocks. And so it gets easier with time it gets way easier with time and experience so don't give up on your roots don't say i'm not getting it so i'm living within my first year you may end up regretting it so please just keep on reading just hold on hold on you may find the answers to the things that you need maybe the next year but just do your part read the course materials and then you are on point so the reading gets better with time there are some of the texts that are really in old English languages, some cases which are in 1840 and 1850. And it may look confusing at a start. There, there are some cases that you start reading them first semester and you're like, what is this? What are they saying? You can read like 50 page, 100 page, 200 page case and you actually don't understand what you are reading, but you have to read. It will get better with time, with experience, with guidance from seniors. So you will read it before you go to a senior and say, hey, please, how do we do this? Or how is this done? How is that done? So it gets better with time. Yeah. The next thing I want you to know is that it's okay if you don't know what you're going to do with the law. Um, so sometimes you're like, oh, I don't want to read this law. My parents asked me to do it. I am not really interested in it. It's okay if you actually don't have any idea what, exactly where you're going with the law. There are some people who may have guidance from home. Their parents are lawyers, their siblings are lawyers, and so they have guided them to know the things that you may not know because you may not have any background. But relax. Even those who think that they know what they are going to do, they change on their way. Sometimes you may never know that what you want to do is to be in corporate or you want to be in litigation, but just start it if you want it. Law is something that everybody needs. Even if you read it and you don't want to pursue the career after graduation, you will be able to divert into other areas as, as quick as possible. So law cuts across every profession. We make laws for engineers. We make laws for businessmen. We make laws for teachers. We make laws for lecturers, students. So law cuts across everywhere. And so if you are in there and you don't know if you actually want to go to court or you want to be in company practicing, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's too early. Don't stress yourself. You'll, you'll find it very soon. Just hold on and keep reading. Keep going for lectures and seminars. 
keep doing internships very soon you find guidance as to what you want to do maybe it may take a year after graduation or even graduation for you to know but hold on don't give up on your roots okay the next thing i want you to know is that be confident confident but don't be arrogant i mean there's a a thin line between being arrogant and being confident my friend said i should tell you that when you get to law school don't think you have arrived i mean whether you are in legon whatever university don't think you have arrived so the whole world should bow down for you hey no you have a lot of years ahead of you humble yourself before god humble so you want to become a lawyer you need the confidence it doesn't mean that you have to be arrogant you have to have a lot of pride in you or it doesn't mean that you should be overly assertive but then be confident and you can get the confidence by just believing in yourself by reading when you have to read by going for seminars by getting mentors and all to guide you to know that you are not so lost sometimes it may look like you are so lost and you are the only one who is not understanding something believe you me my sister my brother sometimes almost everybody is lost but people are so confident overly confident you'll be surprised later to know that they actually didn't understand that much i mean way back in live there were people who looked like they had it all figured out and some of them look like that but deep 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 there are some people who would open up to you later and you know that hey this one i don't understand this and i don't understand that and then you'll be there you're like okay so i'm not the only one who doesn't understand these things people know that they have to be confident and they have to look confident and so they actually look that way but it's not all persons who actually figured out all the things so don't make it look like you're the only one who has not figured it out and then you are lost no try and gather your confidence if you need to speak to a mentor please find a mentor if you want to speak to um a lecturer find a lecturer and speak to us find a senior and speak to the senior and they will guide you to actually find your confidence i got this from some people who were seniors who helped me who were lecturers who said that you know you can do it it is easier as you climb up to the next level and so don't give up now if i had not gotten this people maybe i would have given up and thought that i was not cut out for the law but hey just wait a little don't give up on your roots you can make it huh and hey the next thing i want you to know is that law is very expensive i always say expensive is actually um, relative depending on your means but if you are in ghana here as compared to all other courses it is expensive to read law don't take it for granted from your school fees from the books hostel it's expensive and you have to buy all the books if you don't if you can't buy the books then you have to be in the library almost every time or you have to borrow books from your friends it's expensive it doesn't mean that it's only cut out for rich people you can actually go through law school when you don't have it all figured out but i'm telling you the reality that you would find challenges if you have the you don't have the financial means that shouldn't stop you from reading the law and that didn't stop me and i don't want that to stop you as well if there are soft copies of books get them live within your means a lot of rich people bring their children to read law and so you have almost everybody in your class being from a rich family and um, if you are not from that rich family you can also still live within your means and still make it and so you have to learn that as quickly as possible stop comparing yourself to other people there are people so many people will be driving you may not have your car it doesn't mean that you cannot do this you can do it but you may not have it all so you have to learn who you are, know who you are, make the right friends, make the right connections, believe in yourself and then, hey, no matter how poor you are, you can still go through law school. It will come with these challenges, but you have to be resilient and determined that you can do this. There's nothing about law that is cheap. Even from the wig and gown that you use for your graduation, it will be expensive because generally people who come to the law school, those who are working, they have the means, and rich people come through the law school, so they have the means. So get ready to face the expensive lifestyle and the expensive um, cost of law in Ghana. The next thing I'll talk about is that, hey, know your learning method, what works for you. It may take time for you to get it because law 
is not the same as what you did in school or in SHS, but find your learning method. Law really requires a lot of independence, your own independent judgment, independent reading, your own understanding of things. It is okay if you join group studies at a point, but don't let that one be your main focus if group studies don't work for you. If you are not prepared and you have not read ahead and you have not read the cases or the materials, when you go to group studies and they are saying things, it may just look like, okay, okay, I've heard this, I've read this. But the person's contribution may not be enough for you to pass your exam, but you may be mistaken and think that, oh, I have heard this before. No. What somebody reads in a case, what somebody reads in a law report, what somebody reads in an article, you cannot, the person cannot summarize all of that to you in a group study. So please, read it for yourself as much as you, as you can so that when you go for group discussion, it'll be better. If you are preparing to practice as a lawyer, those pieces that you pick from people in law school or in group studies are not what is going to make you. You will see you'll be deficient in so many things and that will be seen even at the bar. And I'm telling you, sometimes we see it. We see it in ourselves, we see it in other people, that hey, if this person had read this or read these cases, the person will not be talking like this on air or some or even in court. So sometimes some lawyers can disgrace themselves in court because you know that the background was not there. So there's something that is missing. So please don't be one of those people. Law is a profession. It's not just a course that you come to read and pass and go. People's lives are going to be dependent on you. The details are important. Read as though one day somebody will rely on the case that you just didn't read to miss prison or to win a land case. Read every detail. It's so important. You may not get this if we tell you in law school. But I'm telling you from experience, please prepare for your career, which is ahead. Passing exams is good. Getting good grades is good. If you are able to get good grades, that's great. Excellent. If you are not getting the good grades, it shouldn't, it shouldn't affect you at the moment. Strive harder. Remember that understanding the cases, the course materials, and the things that you read are so important. It can never be compared to getting the grades. Sometimes you may get a, a bad grade in a course, but you really truly understood it. That's okay. I have heard of people who finished law school and their parents told them that they have to sit home and revise their notes for one whole year before they move on with their career. And these are people who had parents as lawyers because they know that you need a foundation very well. So please do not rush and, and cut corners and say that I'm doing this quickly and I want to pass and then go you may pass and go but you may be deficient as a lawyer because you may have missed the basics so please take note of that hey the video is getting longer i have so many experiences from law school that i would like to share with all of you i would later record a, a video on career opportunities in law and maybe what i wish i knew before i became a lawyer i'll do that later in life if you're a lawyer here you have experience that law students should know before choosing the course or even whilst they are reading the course, please share with me. Let my followers and subscribers also know about it. 